day three, I think. I've lost count of days, but anyway, the weather's looking pretty bad outside, so we're going to go straight on with the wet weathers today. And then it's only going to be a short ride, so it's only three hours to Melbourne and that's it. But I've went through and checked all my stuff to make sure that I've got all my stuff. So I've just got to stick on the wet weather gear. So then I can have that straight up and then we'll get back onto the road, have a short trip to Melbourne and then maybe film stuff around Melbourne, we'll see. We'll see where the, world, where the day takes us, but until then, let's get on it. Alright, day four, it's actually day four, I don't know what maths, but guess what, it's raining again. So, let's get into it, eh? pulled up we're gonna stop for brackie and a coffee and try and cool down a bit because third day of rain is not real fun but anyway let's go get a coffee Just as I was zipping up my wet weather jacket, I snapped the zipper now, so now I've got no wet weather gear. Well, I've got the wet weather pants, but I've got no jacket. Because I tried just Velcroing it up and it just kept falling apart and like ripping apart. So now I'm gonna have to go and look at a jacket somewhere just in case we get more rain. But what's the bet? Now that it's broken, we get absolutely drenched. But anyway, let's turn this around and we'll get back into it instead of me sobbing on.
we just pulled over for a little bit of a stretch but um we had a little bit of blue sky but now it's looking like it's getting dark where we're going which i'm hoping that um it stays dry because the roads look like they're drying out and um hoping it's dry for the rest of the run just so we have a little bit of good luck instead of just having constant rain but anyway let's get back into it before it starts raining or whatever even though i probably just jinxed it but oh well let's get into it enough to get no rain all the way to Melbourne it's starting to sprinkle on and off again which it's not too bad I'd rather sprinkles than just hounding down rain but um, it says that we're going to get there at about 1 30 we've got about another two hours and ten minutes 185 kilometers so we'll just keep going for it but right, have a go at this tree coverage it looks cool But anyway, let's get back into it, eh? Alright, 
we're getting close to where we're staying so I'm going to turn it off in a minute but um, as much as it feels good riding a bike and all that stuff sometimes the rain like it three days of it it really sometimes gets to you so it's just been good that we haven't had rain for the past two hours or whatever or an hour and a half but yeah sometimes it can just get to your mental state I suppose but anyway like just when I pulled over I just could not get my gloves on so I ended up going stuff it I'm not putting the gloves on I'll just ride without it and I'll just suck it up but um, yeah you just see like once you're wet and everything you just start losing losing your mind over little things like just not being able to get your gloves on so you just give up and end up throwing them but yeah it can be hard which it's definitely one of the hardest rides I've been on hence the three days of rain but hopefully the next couple of days are better anyway I'm going to sign it off there and if anything exciting happens later I'll turn it back on because we are doing a couple of things to Savo, so I'll probably end up running it again just to capture those things. But anyway, we'll sign it off, and I'll see you if anything happens. Get the speaker box loud, hitting that stuff till you hear that sound.